I got into music through my parents, I guess. My mum always loved things like Elvis and stuff like that. My dad was really into Bon Jovi, David Bowie, and U2 and all that sort of band. So I got into music then. Then I started playing guitar. My sister got me into bands like Green Day and Blink-182 when I was like eight or something. And just started off there. Black Soz pretty much perfect for any style of music. It's completely diverse. Even if you're not a fan of one particular amp, there's so many different amps Black Star has. You can choose from, you can get so many different sounds. I've played in four different style bands since I've had a Black Star, and it's worked perfectly for every one I've been in. It's just so diverse, you've got so many different channels, so many different ways of EQing it, and also it runs pedals great as well. I never really had my own amp, so I always never had enough money for an amp. My friend, when I was in one of my first bands, he had the, one of the Black Star valve pedals. I always liked the sound of that. Our bassist used one as well. I think he used the distortion. Then one day, I sort of figured, well, I'm just going to stop using the pedals, because I used to just nick them off of them, and just whoever's amp I could borrow, I'd just shove the Black Star pedal over their amp. And then I was like, no, I need to actually get the real deal now. I think I borrowed money and got one. Then, yeah, I had it ever since. So when I was younger, I always wanted to be a pilot. I uh, got like pilot simulators for a computer, I got everything. And then I went on holiday for the first time. I got on a plane and I've never been more terrified in my life. Since then, I've still been terrified of flying and I just binned that off. If I wouldn't been music, I guess I'd uh, work in an office somewhere and just hate my life a lot. This is the amp I use, the uh, Black Star Series 1 100. It goes really high distortion, which is something else I've always really liked. A lot of amps I've played before don't have enough punch to it, not enough distortion. Yeah, for this, I can crack on the highest distortion and it feeds back really nicely compared to, it doesn't just go straight to a squeal. It's a nice build up to a feedback because that's 90% of a milk tea set is feedback. And also it cleans up incredibly nicely. When we do lighter songs, slower parts of a song, I can clean up and it's not too crunchy. It can still go incredibly loud being clean. Best advice to give to a beginner, don't stop. Just keep playing no matter what. Someone says, oh, your band's bad. Like, I've played through so many terrible bands and still carried on. You learn stuff each time you play in a new band. Don't listen to anybody else and just keep playing. <laughs>